So now that this solution has cooled in ice for several minutes, we, we, we are ready to filter this product. So what you want to do is swirl it and transfer all of it once to the Buchner funnel without spilling. The idea was to get almost all of the product at once to the Buchner funnel. What happens if I have solid left here? I will want to rinse it with the solvent. The more you rinse, the chances of losing some of the compound because it dissolves in the solvent is higher. Even though it is not that soluble in room temperature solvent, it still dissolves a little bit. That is why you want to swirl and transfer as much as possible as uh, at once. There, are, there are still some crystals left. So what do I want to do? I want to rinse it. How? I want to rinse it with some solvent. However, to reduce the solubility of the compound in the solvent, I would cool this solvent in ice before. Okay. So have some solvent ready in ice, cooled and ready for rinsing this flask. Just a few milliliters, if that, swirl it and pour. And this also enhances washing of the soluble impurities, if any, is still present over the crystals. Swirl, add. Okay. So, two times rinsing is more than enough. At this point, if you want to turn on the vacuum high, so that all the uh, solvent is sucked through nicely, leaving behind only the dry material, you may do so. And also, take a clean spatula and move the crystals around. Let air go through the crystals now because you have the suction on. What is happening is it is withdrawing something. There is nothing there on this funnel for it to withdraw because solid cannot go through the filter paper. There is no more solvent left. So what will it do? It will draw air through the crystals thus drying our crystals very very well. And that is really what we want because what we are going to do once the filtration is complete is weigh the product and also determine the melting point of this pure product as well as the original impure product that we started with to compare the melting points of impure versus pure. Let us say I have let air go through these crystals for several minutes. And then what I can do is carefully, without turning off the vacuum, disconnect the suction and then turn off the vacuum. And now you are left with pure recrystallized triphenyl methane you are ready to weigh this compound and determine the melting point of course before you weigh you may notice that along with the white shiny triphenyl methane there are a few black specks what are they does anybody remember yeah those were the boiling chips that we added while we were concentrating our solution so using a tweezers or a spatula just remove those boiling chips. So once you have carefully removed the boiling chips, you are done. You can take this compound and weigh it and determine the melting point alongside the impure triphenyl methane or, and also the standard triphenyl methane that is provided. So you will have three samples to determine the melting point and compare 
and say whether your experiment was successful or not or in other words whether you indeed purified the impure triphenylmethane and got the pure crystals.